Today we are introducing Conformer 2, which is an improvement over Conformer 1 in terms of speed, alphanumerics and proper noun recognition, and noise robustness. Is it going to be a first world championship for Verstappen? Is it going to be an eighth world championship for Lewis Hamilton? Where can Verstappen... And the best news is Conformer 2 is already the default speech recognition model on Assembly AI's API, so you can start using it right away. Continuing the thread of research from Conformer 1, we increased the size of our model and the amount of data it was trained on. The model size is expanded from 270 million to 450 million parameters, and following the scaling laws presented in the Chinchilla paper, Conformer 2 is trained on 1.1 million hours of data. As a result, we see significant performance improvements over alphanumerics and proper nouns. This improvement is consistent across a wide range of domains and academic benchmarks, including telephony, podcasts, broadcasts, webinars, and noisy audio. In addition to modeling improvements, our engineering team has been hard at work to make sure that we provide the best possible experience to our customers. Thanks to various different optimizations on the system side, we lowered the latency of our API. To scale up beyond the 1 million mark of training data, Conformer 2 uses a technique called noisy student teacher training to expand both the quality and the quantity of data that our models are trained on. This is a semi-supervised learning method where a teacher model is trained on labeled data and then is used to generate predictions for unlabeled data. The student model is trained on the same labeled data as well as a teacher model's predictions as pseudo labels for the unlabeled data. This process is repeated multiple times with the student model becoming a teacher model for the next iteration. Conformer 2 consists of an ensemble of teacher models to create high quality pseudo labels and to make sure that we do not overfit. It also has data filtering techniques to discard poor quality pseudo labels. Word error rate is the default way to evaluate automatic speech recognition models, but it doesn't always capture the nuance of real-world use cases. That's why for Conformer 2, we also focused on alphanumerics recognition and proper noun recognition. Word error rate counts only the number of errors, not the significance of these errors. So given these two example transcripts, both would have the same word error rate, even though transcript B would be highly preferable to transcript A. During training, the model will not see nearly as many examples of these proper nouns as it sees common words, resulting in a greater difficulty transcribing these proper nouns. Yet, proper nouns are much more important to the meaning of the language. Similarly, the correct recognition of alphanumerics will determine how useful and effective a speech recognition model is going to be in real-world use cases. For example, messing up the transcription of a credit card number or a order number would be disastrous for a real-world application. Conformer 2 has seen significant improvements in both alphanumerics and proper noun recognition over Conformer 1. And now with an additional parameter, the cost of your transcriptions on Assembly AI is also under your control. This new parameter is called speech threshold, and with that you can determine what the minimum number of minutes should be before the file is processed with Assembly AI. This will help you lower your costs if you're dealing with things like sleep podcasts, music, or maybe even empty audio files. Conformer 2 is already available and can be used through our API. Get a free API token and then head to our docs or to our welcome collab notebook to get started with it in a few minutes. Or you can visit our playground at assemblyai.com playground. If you'd like to integrate Conformer 2 into your product, you can reach out to our sales team with any questions that you might have.